Welcome back to Risque Business News. I'm your host, Laura. And I'm May. And today we have a special guest, Mark Norman. Very special guest. Hey, hey. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about Mark, his work history, and, uh, you know, get into that a little bit. <laughs> and then I'm also going to tell you guys about this guy, Alex Mazmej, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly or not, but he's a character and he has a bunch of human tokens on sale. That's Ooh. terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's terrifying. That is the metaverse come alive. <laughs> right. In one sentence like that, it kind of sounds like slavery, but it's a lot yeah, different. No, I was going to say, I was like, I don't, I don't, that makes me feel weird. Yeah. <laughs> you should. Like body parts that he keeps as souvenirs? No, no, no. I'll talk about that. Oh. Yeah. All okay. right. No, it, it literally, it's always a surprise. This podcast, you're like, wait, All right. what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's the money? I don't, I don't understand how you make money Hold on. from that, though. Two stand-up comics in New York City. Just learned a lot of this stuff. I'm going to ask all the stupid questions that you might be thinking at home, but are afraid to ask people. Making it to where you feel like you're too stupid to be able to ever engage in it, they win. Why the fuck are they doing this? <laughs> it's to make money. It's risque business news. Oh, thanks for coming on the podcast. I hey. you know, really had yeah, to pull you're... some strings to get him on. <laughs> Thanks for having me. She bought Tricked me a coffee earlier. I did, yeah. Yeah, that was oh, about God, it. That I, that's the only we'll thing put that I on the you, expense. The yeah. pie, right? <laughs> also, this is one of those classic cat on cat hair on the mic pods. Oh, it right. is. My apologies. Yeah. No. Listen, I know that you're you're used to just being wined and dined over here, but we're coffee and cat hair kind of podcast. Sure. Oh, the yeah, cat we, ladies. Yeah. That'd yeah, be a we, good pod name. <laughs> we used to be a cat and wine podcast but then we started block we would like literally were blacking out every tuesday yeah, we were like uh <laughs> really? i did not drink this much you don't remember when i would come home from oh Laura's? that's right i yeah. thought you guys would drink after like like a recap but i didn't know it was no, we during drink during as well there oh, were some fun. podcasts where i would listen to it looking for clips and stuff and like towards the end because i was like browning out while i was on the podcast <laughs> i'm like this is a new story for me too because yeah, I'm, like i'm it's like great it's like you could experience it twice yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like she's funny <laughs> like i have no no idea what they're gonna say next <laughs> it sounds like the classic spinster pod a couple cats a couple glasses of wine a few yeah, ladies just us read the newspaper together just right. spinsters yeah. i know and we have talked about weight watchers a considerable uh, like a weird like a weird amount yeah actually yeah. it's like getting to the point where i'm like we should contact them <laughs> i know they should sponsor us God i damn. tell so many people about it i've done a lot of work a lot of leg work for ww <laughs> <laughs> which <laughs> The fact that they're still around baffles me. Well, they rebranded, Laura. Oh, come oh excuse on. me, excuse me. Are you a shareholder? You What's going on? You can't talk shit about our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think everyone's kind of getting this, but this this is the the fiance for like the four listeners who do not have that uh, information that background. You think we have four listeners? Wow, that's yeah, amazing. <laughs> I know, I know. They, they they're and they're commenting all our shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> pretty good. Um, Mark, Yo. you are a comedian for your. Oh money. yeah. Yes. And you've Stand been a comedian up. basically the entire time. Like, you never had a, a desk job. Well, no, I tempted for years. I was a, I worked on a desk at New York Film Academy. I was the registrar. Oh. It was the okay. worst job ever for me. I'm a passive, non-confrontational guy, and I had to kick kids out for not making attendance. So some kid was here from Paris or Prague or... Or uh, Uzbekistan, and I was like, "Hey, sorry, buddy, you're uh, you're you're up too many absences," and he'd be Ooh. crying, and I'm like, "You oh gotta go," and he's like, "Why are you doing this to me? I flew here, I have no money." I'm like, "I don't care," but they care. Why didn't and... you come? I don't know. It sounds yeah, bad. right. <laughs> you should have shown up. That's on you, my guy. It was ugly. It was bad. That's crazy. Horrible. I always think about jobs like that. Like, a, I would be the worst cop ever. Oh, people yeah. would be like yeah. speeding 500 miles a on the highway and I would be like ah oh, you know they're probably late I don't know yeah you see a guy yeah. with a hooker you're <laughs> like who cares go ha hook right go <laughs> ahead smoke weed I don't care yeah what do I care they're having fun they're not hurting anybody yeah and when people are getting shot at you have to go towards that that's insane I just would leave so we probably should have said this up top but just for anybody listening for the first time this is not how we normally do <laughs> podcast yeah oh but, yeah if this is your first episode <laughs> yeah so this is this is uh we want to give a little bit back to the theme of the podcast which is you know business world things like that so what like walk us through your work history and i also sort of want to learn a little bit more about like you had a lot of confidence in yourself as a comic where you never really wanted to like you never even had like the day job where you're like oh if i if comedy doesn't work out then i'll fall back on it Oh, right. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, there was no... 
I was always up against the cliff there. There was no uh, plan net. B yeah, at mm-hmm. all. You take that. And, wait, but, what? Yeah. Oh, plan B. <laughs> but yeah, there was no... Uh, I just was like, well, at least I'm still trying to be a comedian with a day job is better than just having a day job because I just like doing comedy. So right. I figured I could just do this forever. Sorry. You plan control. B alarm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, I'll just, even though I'm like open micing and bombing all the time and making no money, I'm still being a comedian in New York. That's yeah. No, I hear you. I feel like people don't do that enough. Like work in combination. Yeah. Stand up. There's so many people I know who I'm like, why, why do you want to just be poor? Like, I don't understand. Yeah. yeah like, you don't have true. to try have to be that at hard. work. Yeah. Like, I don't think people realize true. you don't have to. To try. Yeah, and no. if you get a good gig, keep doing that gig and get make some fired. money. Get yeah. fucking fired, for sure. Totally. Ride it out into the sunset. I got fired a few times, but yeah. <laughs> you oh did? God, I hear, oh, yeah. I want to hear about that, for yeah, sure. How do you to fire us? Mark Norman? <laughs> well, like a lot of temp gigs, and temping is the worst work because you're the f- new guy every job. It's mm-hmm. your first day every day. Mm-hmm. You know, like, oh, come over to Pratt University and file these papers Here's where the file room is. Here's the printer. And you're like, uh, I don't know. And then they're like, where's that file? And you're like, ah, I'm getting yelled at. I don't know where anything is. Yeah. So temping sucks. And they, they would call you at like 8, a, 8 p.m. Like, we need you tomorrow. And you're like, ah, I'm like shit-faced already. Right, right. You know? And then you'd have to wake up early, get there. You don't know where it is. The whole thing sucked. So temping was a nightmare. So I'd rather do, I became a janitor. Or I moved furniture just because I didn't want any responsibility. I didn't want any phone calls or, you know, HR or any yeah. of that. But weren't you worried about like you sort of had like really entrepreneurial spirit? I would say even mm. with comedy, you do a lot of entrepreneurial Look at stuff. You. Mr. Oh. Steve Jobs over here. Yeah. Wow, entrepreneurial Bill, spirit. Bill but Gates. you know, yeah. you'll you'll find different avenues to get creative when it comes to you know finding different incomes and things mm. like that which is i very much appreciate hey oh and uh <laughs> um but like for me i would be really nervous if i were in that situation because i would be like well now i have nothing on my resume for 10 years except for moving and comedy didn't work out so did you ever have those like doubts in yourself or you got oh, a little bit just- of success early enough on no i just always thought uh just put comedy first kind of and if it if i just become like a Fifty thousand dollar a year comic. I was happy with that. Okay. So I so, wasn't even yeah. looking at it as this like, where am I gonna be? How am I gonna pull this off in twenty years? I was just like, if I can get to that, I'll be happy. Yeah. When did you first start doing comedy? I started May six, two thousand six. Oh, oh my god! You know the day? <laughs> of That's course. really cute. So, Biggest aww. day ever. Yeah, laughing at Louisiana. And wow. why did you do that? I had nothing going on. I lived in a house with five guys. We had a poker night. We built a bar in the living room. We did parties. We did all this bullshit. And it was we were such losers. We'd steal kegs. We'd get into fist fights in backyards for stealing kegs. Wasn't that just college kids? Yeah, yeah I guess. I'm like, I'm like I guess I was a loser too. Just yeah. like 14? Like, what's going on? This is like yeah. seven years of college, by the way. I, I failed out of three colleges. What did you study? Yeah. Uh, well, eventually or I you would try to study. I tried everything, communication, <laughs> anything without math is what I did. Nice. And then I finally graduated with a film degree. Hell yeah, brother. Mm-hmm. It's documentary yeah. film. Yeah. And I uh, made a big documentary about all these girls I dated and they all hated me. It was, it was a hell of a doc. <laughs> Killed what? in the room. What? Are you serious? Yeah, That's yeah. That's hilarious. So one of them, you know, I'd go meet, it was like five or six different girls and I'd meet one and I'd be like, hey, and she would slam the door and that was one, you know, yeah, and it was yeah. all real. Wait, really? Though? Yeah. Didn't you have a girlfriend that whole time? Well, I did, but we were off and on pretty good. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, I'd say so. You had yeah. enough people to make she a documentary about She was the big, big ending. Oh, okay. Because we actually had a thing. The right, other ones right. were like, you know, just fun. Yeah, yeah. But good times. What did she think about that? I would be like, cool, I'm in a fucking documentary <laughs> with you parading around with all these broads. I don't know if she knew about the other, uh, she never saw it. Oh my God. So she wasn't, she wasn't fired up about the, <laughs> Probably I'm not. Like film, the, the pending film career. I'm yeah. pissed off for your ex-girlfriend now. She that's that's where yeah. we've got. She was like, this is the most we've talked about a relationship and there's a fat camera guy right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but good times, good times. So you went to college, studied film, kind of communications, kind of. Yeah. Were you, why? Why were you even in college? Like, did you were you just kind of figuring it out, or you hadn't done comedy at this point? Hadn't done comedy, but you, so just, you were just kind of like 
you, you know, you finish high school, high school, you go to college. It was just that yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And failed out, went to community college, get the grades back up, got back into a real college, yada, 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 quit college to go to New York Film Academy. Because I was like, I'm going with this film thing. I'm okay, going to be cool. Woody So Allen. you were like... Yeah, focus. Yes, I'm going to date a young Asian daughter and, <laughs> you know, go all the way. Yeah. <laughs> I and, know the steps. This yeah. is great. <laughs> That's a very important piece of yes. my career is dating the Asian daughter. So, <laughs> uh, hey, that was, uh, wait, what's her name? Soon Yi. I was going to say that's too Soon Yi. Oh, but that's I couldn't think of it. Damn it. Uh, so, still works. Thank you. <laughs> so, went to New York Film Academy, fell in love with New York. The Film Academy was kind of a waste. You know, it was fun. We made movies. It was cool. But it was like I was doing stand up at night and like this is what I like. Yeah. The yeah, film yeah, thing yeah. was just fun during the day. It was mm-hmm. artsy, whatever. But uh, the stand-up part I fell in love with. I fell in love with New York. I lived in an apartment with a bunch of Indian dudes. They taught me all about Indian stuff. That was fun. <laughs> uh, just loved New York and then moved back when film school ended. It was kind of like a six, eight-month program. Went back to New Orleans, super depressed, lived back with the parents, started doing stand-up there just to like have a thing. And there's such a small scene that it was just kind of like, this is pointless, and I moved back to New York. Yeah. Wow. What was the period of time for all of that? Like a year? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, probably shit, a year. A hell of a year. Mm-hmm. Hell of a year. So you were like what? Like twenty two doing stand up in New York? Yes. Yeah. Twenty one, twenty two. Yeah. Nice. And did then you, did you like apply for? I'm like, what kind of jobs would you? What would you if you couldn't work in stand up, even like in a business relation? What corporate job could you see yourself maybe doing? Oh well, my God. advertising would be the ideal thing because it's still kind of creative. creative. Yeah, and you yeah, make yeah. some money. You got a suit on. You're Don Draper. You're yeah. Yeah. women. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's... Yeah. That's exactly how it is in real life. <laughs> Just, exactly. Yeah, straight to the cigars. <laughs> right. Immediately. Yeah. Two martini lunch. All that. Calling <laughs> you, you toots. Do that. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you that, can also do the toots thing. Yeah, yeah you I too. could do it. You should call me toots around the house. I kind of like that. I could do that. I could snap Aww, you with a towel. Fun. That's so sweet. Sure. All right. Get in the kitchen, toots. toots. Right? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do it too. Okay. But what I did was I would work on film sets. I worked on Benjamin Buttons. I worked on a couple other movies because New Orleans became some kind of movie hub for 10 yeah. minutes. And I've worked on all these movies as like a crew guy. Mm-hmm. Like a PA? PA. Okay. Lock them up. That's what you say when somebody walks by like, they're like, lock them up. You're like, sorry, sir, you can't come this way. They're shooting. Yeah, yeah. And he would go, get out of my way, pip squeak. And I go, yes, sir. I feel like yeah, film you're, school. You're ready to go right back on set. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Film school was like your version of improv, I think, where like a lot of stand ups will try improv when they, because they're just scared. Mm. And then they're like, well, this fucking sucks. And then they start doing, that's you. That's me. Me too. Yeah. Oh my I God. Did, I, I did actually, improv for a long time. Yeah. Really? Because I couldn't do um, stand up while swimming. Yeah. Because it's literally like the exact opposite schedule. Right, <laughs> right, right. 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 Like, to be in the water at five in the morning. Like, what are you fucking oh, about? Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. No way. No way. But improv. Why is swimming so early? Thank you. I don't <laughs> know. Like, like the pool is going to be there at you, 10 a.m. Well, you do need to get four hours in the water. Ah, and that's why. So it's like you would do at the beginning and then you go back at like two o'clock. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. Mm. Look, I wouldn't recommend. In yeah. fact, I'd highly not recommend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I did improv while I was um, swimming for a while. And the, the nice thing with improv is there's never audience. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it really whenever you want. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. It was, Damn. It was good I fucking hated improv. Oof. I didn't mind it, but it doesn't have the same... You can't have your point of view. No. Right. You know, you can't be you all the way. And I'm just so scared of saying something insanely Insensitive. horrific. Yeah. Right. And then just having to be up there and be like, well, I just said the N word in front of <laughs> yes everybody. And. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nobody yes anded me. Right. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah. I, I feel like. Um, watching you figure out different ways because you get you know the doors slammed in your face constantly like, we've been dating for like what five years mm-hmm. i guess and um you know it's just like in the industry for everybody it's just like no after no after oh, no yeah. but you get really creative like you had the um the youtube special mm-hmm. after being told no by a bunch of networks right, right so what's your process of sort of I feel like you get over things really quickly or maybe you just seem that way where you well, just you get the no and you move on well, it's like a bit. You ever have a bit where it's not working, but you're like, I know there's some way to make this bit work. Yeah. It's the same with your career. I can't get a Netflix special, but 
I can figure out a way to get in with a special, and then YouTube comes out or whatever, or you do a podcast, and you know, there's a million guys out there who were kind of okay comedians, and then they would start a podcast, and that blew up, and right. now they're huge comedians. Mm -hmm. So there's always some way in. You just got to keep trying weird shit and figure it out. Yeah, I would say for the most part, it hasn't been the standard industry trajectory for you. No, no, I don't think. In the beginning, it was, but the the whole industry was changing as I right. was trying to catch up to it, and I, yeah. I I was always ten feet behind it. But like, I did all the late nights. I've done eight Conans. That's true. It yeah. didn't matter. <laughs> none of them matter. Like none of them Running broke Conan me. Running with him. Like what's yeah. going on? <laughs> yeah. I should put you on the payroll, yeah. man. <laughs> I'm actually Andy Richter. But, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, just nothing happened from it. Nothing moved the needle. But I tried all those. I did a Comedy Central half hour. I did a Comedy Central hour. Nobody cared. So. 10, 12 years ago, if I had done that, it might have moved the needle. But sure. the mm -hmm. industry was literally changing as I was getting up to it. Right. And uh, so you had to just say, fuck it. I'm going with the change. Mm. We've talked about that a lot on this podcast, actually, is like the streaming services have really messed all of the networks up so badly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And now they have to do like even with like A-list celebrities their grip is kind of slipping because mm -hmm. yeah, fucking sure. Squid Games comes in out of nowhere, you know? Right. And you're like, all right, well, like, it's like not... With no one recognizable, like, there's exactly. not Jennifer Aniston or whatever. No, no one's or turning Scarlett into Johansson. Squid Games yeah. to, to see, yeah, Scarlett yeah. Johansson. They're seeing just, they want to see right. someone get mowed down with this robot, well, that's, you know? that's her, like, M.O. is uh, playing an Asian woman <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> in movies. And you're like, Scar I missed that one and I appreciate you. Yeah. You are a blonde white woman. What are we doing here? <laughs> I love her defense of it, though. I mean, she's got a point. She was like, listen, like, yell at the casting director. Yeah, yeah she's me. like, wait, you want me to not take the money? I'm gonna yeah, take the money. Like, I'm an actress. They pay me to act. I don't know. And yeah. weirdly, I do well in China. They buy <laughs> yeah. tickets to see right, me. Right, right. So. I'm sure they do. She's yeah. Hot. Right. She is. Um, Lab leak. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think one of the differences between you and uh, some other stand-ups um, is that you, you don't seem to get bitter. Mm. from the nose like what's your process <laughs> or are you for, just secretly bitter? yeah are you just, secretly bitter but you put the bitterness into the work okay you can't so just sit around and stew yeah, yeah yeah and then you can like, learn from like you're like how the hell did he that guy's a hack how did he get here and yeah. you're like maybe i can do what he did you know exactly instead of just hating him Copy. take something yeah true yeah learn from the hacks right you also are great at outsourcing I would say. Oh, big outsource. Like your TikTok isn't really taking off and Marcus Monroe, friend of the pod, is taking over your TikTok because he's yeah. trying to boost that a little bit sure. trying to help you out. TikTok is the most chaotic algorithm. It's insane. It's tough. I have no idea what's going on on that right. thing. But like ever. Eric Newman posts his stand-up clips all the time and he's like huge on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. There's no rhyme or reason. Nope. Yeah. Gotta figure it out. And I make a bunch of money sometimes and I'll just give it all away to fuel some new thing. So well, let's invest. Yeah, you're yeah. Investing, investing, investing in your company, basically. Right, right. Last yeah. night, <laughs> when I was out, I agreed to invest in my friend's company. Oh, oh my god! Oh. She also took her shirt off and switched with a boy. I did. Really? I, did. I, I switched shirts with a man. Where did you do this? Like in the bathroom, no, or just on just the? In the I was floor. wearing like a little tank under oh, okay. it, so it wasn't uh, like I was like topless. Yeah, yeah. Although honestly, I would have. I yeah. wouldn't even really <laughs> care. I don't really give a shit. It's pretty cool, though. It's a it was, NASA t-shirt. Yeah, NASA in Japanese. Oh. Yeah, I know. I, I tried to buy it off him, and he said no. <laughs> and he literally just... Wait, oh, then, he took it back? Yes, after... Well, oh, I, I, I needed to get my like shirt back. <laughs> oh, okay. After a while. I just thought you guys both walked out of the bar with no, each I other's shirts I on. No, I wish I had that one, though. <laughs> but then I was like, I need my shirt back, and I also want your shirt, so... <laughs> You're going to be shirtless, but can I buy this off you? And he's like, no. I, nah. like, I mean, I can see why. You can probably find that on oh, yeah, Amazon perhaps. or something. Yeah, know. but the, the charm. I know. The that charm is of getting it from the bar. That's yeah, she sent me this like foggy photo of her in a NASA shirt. And she's like, <laughs> I, I switched shirt to a man last night. <laughs> Matthew's always like, what the fuck is wrong with I you? Know. <laughs> hey, we've been making improvements in our lives. We no we longer have. get blacked out every Monday night <laughs> recording this podcast. This is true. Yeah, it was like bad for our health. It was not good. That's all right. <laughs> it was not good. We're in our early thirties. We're we're yeah. this is we're exiting. We're exiting the the, the Laura, crazies. Laura I don't know actually, if I'll fully exit ever. But. Right. Laura made an excellent point once because I always beat myself up when I'm hungover, mm -hmm. and she was like, "You know what?" She was like, "You're gonna try to have a kid in the next like three years or so, and so you might as well live it up now." That's true. Yeah, you definitely really want to get this out of your system. Yeah. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Please right. don't do that with the baby. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. do you do? You think having an agent and manager is worth it for you? For I think for sure. I think I'm such a klutz. I just booked an Amtrak and I got to the station two days ago, or I had a gig in Jersey on Amtrak, and I apparently booked an AM. Yeah, I'm so not then surprised I had to call at all. Amtrak, get a PM switch. It was a nightmare, but. Everybody, all my friends are getting rid of their managers because they're like 10%. They're like, these guys are, Tim Dillon is, we have the same manager. He's making great money. And he's like, I, I'll just get an assistant for a grand yeah. a month and not pay 10% of my millions right. to some dude or is lady. Is he doing that? Yeah, he got rid of his manager. He did? Oh. Yeah. Wow. And he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'll fuck it up. I need him. Yeah. And I use him too. I'll be like, book this, book that, do this. This hotel sucks. Flip yeah. it, change it. So I'm using him. To uh, their as long fullest. As, as long as they're like active and doing yeah. things for right. you versus. Do they want to plan our wedding? Yeah. They're helping actually. They are? Yeah, okay, yeah. I've already God. used them on that too. <laughs> and I'll be on vacation, like, give me a rental car and they'll do that. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm getting my money's worth, but they, 10% so is a divish. lot of money. <laughs> You're on That's personal great. vacation. <laughs> yeah, they don't know that. No, I mean, also like. 10%? Like, <laughs> yeah, you, you tell me when to for stop asking you for things. Yeah, about this. yeah exactly. Right. You tell me. <laughs> yeah, right. 10% of 100 grand is 10 grand. 10 I, grand listen, is a lot we, of money. We, we are very good at that. Yeah. Uh, the commission checks, I'm always like, how much is that? Okay, yeah, I'll be oh, taking yeah. that call. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yes. Oh, I can calculate 10% yes. very quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think it's worth it. An agent basically just gets you gigs. An agent is huge. Yeah. Yeah, agent is very important. Um, Got to do it. And a money guy or gal. Money person. Very good. Yeah. We've been talking about that too, or we just want to outsource stocks Ugh. and things like that because I just simply don't have, I mean, I probably do have the time, but I, you shouldn't be doing stock picking. I don't like, know what I'm doing. No, don't, don't bother. You can only I follow mean, Nance around I know, so I know. Long. I'm trying to get the, um, the portfolio built by, there was, there's a account on Twitter that follows all the stuff that Pelosi does. Yeah. And she crushes, by the way. She's oh, yeah. way yeah. outperforms well, the market she because insider she insider trades. trades. Yeah. As we know, she got a bunch of those Twitter accounts taken down, by the way. Wow. She, it was yeah. fucking sketchy. Twitter's yeah. a hellhole. Yeah. And it the really new guy is. has come in like, all of the stuff before about like the freedom of speech is gone now. Oh. Like he's like really like not into it. So they, wow. like, yeah, it's been kind of interesting. Whoa, really? Interesting. Have you seen a change? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh yeah. I don't Seriously. really look at it. I'm wow. dead serious. Yeah. Wow. You, you might not notice like a lot. I'm, I follow a lot of like, crazed accounts let's call yeah. that that are like nancy pelosi trackers and stuff like that yeah, and those yeah. are getting removed and stuff like that wow yeah. and so they they'll always have their fake ones where they're like hey if this gets taken down follow this so yeah oh, yeah great. Like, <laughs> that's love crazy it. this little like rat race to oh, keep up yeah, with man good. censoring them that's and, and i mean she's like i'm not saying that She's just one example of right, the stuff right. where they're they're doing a lot more censoring now. Only uh, which, I can insider trade. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I don't get the free speech thing with the censoring because I'm like, who decides what is well, censored? Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Right. That's Jack who, um, Jack Dorsey, Woodbang. He's so great. I love really? him so much. Yeah, he, he's cool. We did a little expose on him. And at first I just hated him because I hate Twitter so much. But uh -huh. now he's pretty cool. All yeah. right. Yeah. He's, he kicks ass. Anyway, he was the one kind of being very pro, like defending it being like very open and mm -hmm. anyone could make one, which is why when they banned Donald Trump, like I understand obviously people were excited because not a lot of people, well, not a lot of people in New York like him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But on the flip side, it was kind <laughs> of like a, a lot of people really like him yeah. though. Other places. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. and it was a terrifying precedent yeah. for yes. them to put down of like, oh, if you say things that we don't like, we can block, kick exactly, you off. Exactly, exactly. It's, it's a company. Like, they're allowed to do that. Sure. But it's just they hadn't made that. So now there's another social media site called Getter. Yeah, I've heard yeah, of this. Yeah, I downloaded it because I was like, I want to check on, I, want, I don't, I want my fucking eyes on you. You guys, yeah, yeah. what are you guys talking about over there? And it's terrifying. What's and going now on I just, over there? Is it like know. a 4chan situation or no? It's not as bad as 4chan. 4chan's... Okay. 4chan you know is its 4... own beast. Oh, yeah. I saw the QAnon duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 4chan is its own. We did an episode on 4chan live, actually. We should really? Do, we, should, we should maybe circle back on that one and do like a more... I would love to talk more about 4chan. Yeah, me or too. 8chan. Yeah, 8chan part eight two. Chan. And we'll just talk about the craziest shit on like there. 8chan is like the kids kicked off of 4chan or whatever. Yeah. Oh, really? 8chan Whoa. is like when 4chan's too censored for them. Wow. So, and which I'm like, <laughs> what does that even mean? It's just like more kiddie porn? Like, yeah, you know? yeah. And they're like, yes, exactly. That that right. is one hundred percent actually what we were looking for here. The kids are you eight years old. Nailed eight. Yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> Jesus. I had uh, no idea. Mm-hmm. I thought that they were whole thing was getting rid of pedophiles. Like Hillary it Clinton's no, a pedophile or whatever. Yeah, I was just joking about the, oh, the okay. kitty porn. I'm yeah. just saying like there's it. horrible, t- like, That's you know, probably a lot crowd. of like smut porn, like people, you know, oh, people getting killed and shit. We definitely need to do another like deeper dive into that. Yeah, we also did that one. Um, now we're just recapping episodes we've done. But on the like the dark web, that was fun. That is oh. What Love was it. that called? Silk Road. The Silk Road. Ooh. Do you know the Silk Road? Ooh. Remember that? No, is it like the black market? Yeah, so the Silk but, Road. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And you could like sell drugs. You could, you could get hire a hitman. Whoa. You could hire a hitman. Yeah. I like and it, it was like Amazon setup. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Like literally. And it worked. Like you could yeah. do all this shit on it. If and you like this anonymous. pipe bomb, yeah. you'll love this yeah, pipe yeah. bomb. Yeah. This guy wow. in Austin started it. Yeah, it was really? like when I lived there. Mm-hmm. Like like a our age. He's in jail now. Now he's in jail. Really? Yeah. Give it, Austin's got range. They started Whole Foods and this. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Silk Road. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it was bananas. Truly, Damn. I've I've listened to a lot of true crime documentary or you know podcasts or whatever where someone will try to hire a hitman and they'll like it'll be like his screen name was Tony Soprano and it's like okay what are we doing here? Obviously uh. that's an undercover <laughs> cop. Right. And right. Then the cops like okay why are you trying to hire a hitman that's labeled like. You yeah. know, Carmella. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Super obvious. <laughs> okay, so, Mark, you were a janitor. You worked temp jobs, which is everything under the sun. Were there any, like, favorite or worst bosses that you had? Oh, oh man. I like that. My boss, the janitor was the best gig ever. You know, it sounds horrible because I'm unclogging toilets. I'm getting rats out of ventilation ducts. Yeah. But it was like... Well, you're probably handy now. I was a little handier. I learned how to work a fuse box and put, you you put together furniture and all this stuff. But uh, the my boss was from Hungary. She was a lesbian from Hungary, Hell and yeah. she was the biggest poon hound on the planet. Hell and yes. she had a tool belt and like lesbian <laughs> stereotype to the match. She would ogle women like business women in pantsuits. She was like, "Oh my god, I'd fucking do this to her. I'd, I'd scissor her." And she had a thick accent. She was awesome. But uh, she was great. She was great. We'd like go get a drink love- after and she'd call me a pussy for drinking too slow and then she'd put a cigarette out on her forearm. <laughs> she was insane. Aniko was her name. Shout out Aniko. Oh, God. Yeah, friend of the pod. Yeah. yeah. But uh, my the owner of the building was a skyscraper in Midtown and uh, we did two floors and this guy owned the two floors. His name, well, I probably shouldn't say it, but it was Mr. Entwistle. And he was like classic rich hoity-toity wasp like i'm talking business suit with the uh the handkerchief thing oh, wow. like an ascot like all day like, relax yeah he was that guy wealthy money went to connecticut in the summer yep hit the yacht the schooner golfed boat shoes that guy and he was the biggest dick he hated everybody. He was super racist. Like, he Jeez. was a stereotype, too. Like, he'd be yeah. like, these Jews, they come in here. Like, he was that guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he was brutal. Brutal. Because he'd be like, you got to stay late today. We have a person coming in. I got to get that room flipped. I'm like, I have a show. He's like, fuck your show. You're never going to make it. Like, he was that guy. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was wild. Crazy. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you, so- Did you stay late? <laughs> I would have to, yeah. I would have to because I wanted to keep the gig. Why did you get fired so many times? Uh, you know, <laughs> miss, oh. missing work, oh, okay. stuff like that, or oh, just no. slacking off, or they'd be like, you got to do this, and I would forget, or something like that. I didn't realize, because I tempted for like two seconds in, um, when I still lived in Boston, it's like right out of, the cool, uh, right out of school, and uh, I didn't realize that temping just meant like i just thought like if they liked me they would keep me on ah. you know <laughs> yeah. and then so like i worked at this place rue la la and then it got to like the, i was only supposed to work there a week and like do a bunch of like spreadsheets and stuff and then i did and at the end they were like okay well nice knowing you and i cried because i was like they didn't oh. hire me uh, i was like i got fired and my mom was like no like you <laughs> served your you. purpose it's and then they let dating. you go right yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why they didn't hire you i was <laughs> so real- sad i was like oh, i can't hilarious. believe i didn't get f- i was like i did everything they asked me to do and they didn't ask me to stay <laughs> nah, the job is done yeah. that'd be weird if they did ask you to stay like just sit here yeah. we like you there's nothing for you to do but we want to talk yeah, to we you. don't have a job for you but you're great yeah yeah i was bummed what is rue la la it's a it was like a competitor of guilt actually and then okay. i ended up working at guilt uh, i was like it sounds familiar yeah and then you went in, oh then you it's took like their trade sale. secrets you went over to guilt oh, you're yeah. like screw you guys you should have hired me right i learned so much doing <laughs> spreadsheets for that one week damn Listen, they were bitchy there too. I said it. 
Ooh. <laughs> well, you will never work at Rue La La <laughs> ever again. <laughs> Which sounds like <laughs> a strip club. Even for the first time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's Rue La La and Guilt are the same thing now, actually. Oh, oh fuck merger. Wow. wow. So you ended up working for them anyway. I guess I did. Yeah. Yeah. You got in. They wow. liked you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the long con. I like it. I, I'll say I hated working in an office, but the craziest thing, we had a couple of guys get fired for kitty porn. A, a couple Whoa, things no went way. down. Yeah, but... Wait, we want to circle back to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, I mean, yeah. nothing. I mean, that's the gist of it. Did they like take his computer yeah, out? Yeah, the whole like, thing. Cops oh, came yikes. in one day, cuffed the guy. Also, like, uh, at work? I know, right? Yeah. I don't want to be that guy. But like, I mean, if you're going to watch kitty porn, maybe go home. I mean, yeah, I, guess I guess if so. you're going to the lengths to get kitty porn, you're probably like really addicted to the kitty oh, porn. Yeah. Yikes. I guess. I don't know. I would. I, I don't. No, I don't even know porn. where you'd go. Well, the Silk Road, I guess. But yeah. they can't anymore now. It's gone. So. And I remember before he, we knew he did that. That Wi-Fi went down one day, and he was like, "Fuck, we gotta get the Wi-Fi back. I have deals to make." And we were like, "All right, I'm sorry." And it was probably just he was like mid jerk. Oh you no! Know? Yeah. He's like about to. Oh yeah. He's like, I don't want this kid to get too old. We gotta get it back. <laughs> But yeah, uh, the craziest thing though at the office job was every Friday, my job as a janitor was to clean out the communal fridge. Oh, wow. And that was the biggest shit show because you'd go, all right, everybody knew it says it on the fridge on Friday. If it's in here, it'll get thrown out. And I would throw shit out because that was my job. And Monday (laughs) would be like, where the fuck is my pineapple i had a half a can full of cut pineapple and you're like I, it was friday i threw it out and they're like you piece of shit it was, it was bad it was really bad that's annoying yeah good times but glad to be out yeah yeah no that's I did, good did my did my part i did i paid the dues oh yeah for sure i'm still like amazed that your parents never really put the pressure on you to like get a quote-unquote real job no no you know they made me finish college because they're like, you'll probably need one. Yeah. So you got to have a resume with a college degree on it, but That's they not never... That's not a bad... I mean. Yeah. It's one of the good sides of neglect is that like <laughs> they also don't give a shit about that. Right. You know? Like they didn't give a shit about it. They're like, oh, he's just doing a comedy thing. We'll figure it out. Yeah, he'll figure it out. He's on his own. He's, your, he's a person. What do your siblings do? Brother's a computer programmer, older brother. Brilliant guy. He's got his own coding platform. He's got a whole thing. He's the exact opposite of Mark. Like their skill sets are exactly opposite. It's very interesting. Yeah. And he looks Asian. He does. (laughs) He does. It's really funny. And he likes computers and he's smart. Yeah. And he's well behaved. Yeah. <laughs> he's all that stuff. That's yeah. So and you're just fun. throwing out pineapple. Right? Yeah. And I'm telling dick jokes. I'm drinking. You know, I live in New York. He's got a family. He's like completely stable. Well, 401k. Do, yeah. The whole thing. And, uh, you know, I'm like, how can I get this Jew joke cooking? Right. You know? right. <laughs> um, yeah. I would say, like, also something interesting about you like doing like the youtube thing was one of the newer things like Mm -hmm. you one of the first people to do that big rip big failure i thought like this i couldn't get on netflix even my friends sam and joe got youtube but it was comedy central youtube so at least they have some giant thing backing him that that already has 500 mm -hmm. upload yeah yeah yeah, for me it's like god i hope this works (laughs) yeah and now i'm so glad that i didn't go through them now I'm glad yep. I own it. I knew it at the time. You did say I that. I remember I was like, this is all going to work out better if you just do it on your own. Yeah, but Aww, I was scared. Man, look at you. Okay, manager. Okay, 10%. Well, you yeah. have it. You have it in you. You have that adventure in you. Yeah. It's in there. I do, but it's funny. Like toots. I like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that you take risks and you put it out there. And like if someone slams a door in your face, you'll find a, a window to get in. And like yeah. I, I really love that about you. Um, and I wish I could do more of that, but I feel like when it's my life taking the risk, I get like so nervous. But then when it's like us and you, I'm like, oh, you got this. It's well, like- you, you're you're more new as a comic, so well, yeah. I I had eight years of all those risks not working. Yeah. So no one, you didn't see that. So maybe yeah, it seems true. like it works out more. But I had true. I had all the the failures. Yeah, yeah, that's big true. time. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. I feel like with comedy, you just have to keep going. Yes. And you have to fail to learn how to win. Yes. Like, uh, Tim Dillon always talks about this on his pod where he, <laughs> my, yeah. That's actually two that's already. Two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of counter on the Tim Dillon references. <laughs> but I mean, you know, he had like a really rough go the first like 10 years. He tried a bunch of stuff on Tumblr. He, he was, oh, he was that's like, right. That's he was right. just trying shit all the time. And then 
when he finally did the podcast, that's when he skyrocketed. Yeah. And so, and I think at first it was a podcast with another guy and then he just wanted to go. rant. And then, so it was like a few iterations of the podcast. Right. And now it's like the biggest podcast on the planet besides fucking Joe Rogan. I know. It's so, crazy. Um, yeah. It's a lot of like trial and error, but like keeping I, your guts stowed. Keeping your head up and yeah. just keep I on keeping on. love hearing about the failures. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's my favorite. Oh yeah. That's think, big. Stories like yours keep bad comics in comedy too long. Though, <laughs> That's people so are like, true. They're they like, took Mark Norman 15 right, years. So right. I'll just ruin my entire life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Build no resume and then try to re-enter the workforce. I mean, that's the big Rodney Dangerfield thing. He didn't make it till he was fifty something, and everybody always goes, "Well, Rodney didn't make it to your feet. You know, you're thirty eight. You're you're doing fine. You're like, nah, you should quit. Yeah, yeah, no, no. yeah. Start start studying some coding. Yeah, <laughs> right. actually, it's probably too late for that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, um, backup job is nothing to be ashamed of. No, you make a good point. I actually, I, I brought this up to my therapist once where I was like, maybe I should just like save money, quit, and then like really give comedy a go and blah, blah, blah. And she was like, here's what's going to happen. You're just going to be stressed out about where your next paycheck's going to be from. So she's like, all the energy that you think you're putting into your work right now, you would just translate that energy into stress and anxiety over mm. like, holy shit, I have no money. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. and getting rid of your day job, when I first got rid of I was like, okay, day job's gone, I'm going all in on comedy. It feels good, obviously you can sleep till 10, but you really gotta push the gas, because... Mm -hmm. Self-starter. That's it, yeah. yeah, there's no fallback, and it's kind of scary. Oh, oh yeah, oh, for scary. sure. Um, and like, well-paid gigs are so few and far I between. know, in the beginning, yeah, for sure. It's insane. Um... Yeah, I got paid a hundred dollars for some show I did recently, and I was like, "Wow!" Oh, that's nice. I am that's a awesome. millionaire. Three yeah. digits, yeah. But you guys are attractive ladies. You guys can do OnlyFans. I couldn't do oh, that. That's yeah, true. that's true. You put no, those OnlyFans feet is on there. Pretty fucking competitive. It, that's yeah, true. It's getting that. bad. I like that's. I've, <laughs> I want to talk about that. Like millennials, like we're the first generation who couldn't just like go sell ourselves. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, mean, like, I was like, I would. Have you seen what strippers do? They're oh, jumping yeah. around on the pole. They're fucking athletes. That's a they lot of work. So never good. do that. <laughs> yeah. By the way, my friend, I think I've told you about this, but my friend's sister, um, she started pole dancing for exercise, like in her house. She was like, oh, I just think this would be fun. Like maybe I'll learn how to pole dance, whatever. And now she's like fucking shredded, has like yes. an amazing <laughs> body. And she, she like loves pole dancing. I'm like, we got to get a fucking pole. No, you get that for your new place. <laughs> yeah, in my new place. But I just want to do it for exercise. Sure. I don't even want to look sexy. I just want to like, I just want to have a but nice then you body. Are the, then you are the place. Then you are the house with the pole. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. it can't be the house with the pole. That's true. Like that's yeah. like if you have a stripper pole in your house, that's the takeaway. When yeah. Everyone comes over. They're like, oh yeah, Mark Norman's house. Yeah, stripper yeah. Pole. I feel like that'd be a sign of a bad marriage. Like, yes. You know? Yes. <laughs> you know? Exactly. When people, yes. there's always like a housewife that's like, oh my, uh, on the Real Housewives, uh, <laughs> housewife from the show, you know, Real Housewives. Um, <laughs> that they'll be like, oh, me and my husband have a great sex life. We have like a basement dungeon for it. It's like, Okay, right. that makes it sound like you have a horrible sex life. I always like it's very unhealthy. Mm. Yeah, people that I get too into kinks, I'm like, have you just tried coming? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I just have an or like it's pretty great. There's, like, this, yeah. there's this thing called missionary. Yeah. The <laughs> completion. Yeah. <laughs> right. Then you keep doing your fucking day. I don't know. Right. This doesn't have to be an activity. <laughs> I remember listening to Guys We Fucked Pod once, um, where Corinne was talking about the positions, and she was like, honestly, missionary is the best position, and people mm. are just fucking lying about it because they want to sound kinky but she's like but why i like to see them i like to make out yeah. Sue me. It, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean it's the mcdonald's of positions but mcdonald's is it's killing the global, it yeah, exactly. yeah. Like, industry powerhouse right. like, everybody <laughs> likes it about yeah you don't have to do like a fucking headstand in the corner or whatever like you yeah just just get it done, you Not know. Yeah, I'll do the reverse with you, and I can tell you're you're uh, you're crab walking, and you're like, I'm so tired. <laughs> you can see your arms buckling, you know. <laughs> I always think I'm gonna fall on you. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. Lately, we've been doing this thing, and I have to hold myself up and spicing it anyway, up. Listen, I like yeah. it. Like get out of that workout. You're like, I'm shredded. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, do you want to demonstrate for the camera? Right yeah, now? <laughs> sure. Guys, only fans come yeah. on. Uh, Two of you, let's Laura, go. you want to give us some tips from an <laughs> athlete's perspective? Swimming. I just kind of float, you know, yeah. <laughs> kind of, uh, you go on your back. Yeah. <laughs> I love like those things 
that are like, oh, you know, like you burn so many calories during sex. I'm like, okay, not me though. The, the, the nah. guy, like the man. <laughs> You're the man. working your ass off. Oh, I'm yeah. like laying there like a fucking. That's uh, the only dead reason fish. I'd want to get pegged is just to watch you do the work. <laughs> I, <would. laughs> I don't actually, I don't want anything in my ass, but I want to watch you. Like you see, yeah. I would get lot. over that you know, so fast. Yeah. Like, yeah. For a while. I'd be like, I don't have the abs for this. Oh it's yeah, a lot of abs. A lot of ab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we? Do you have any other questions? For I mean, um, yeah, I think I think we just think about we sums it. it up. We, yeah. you know, we got yeah. your work history. Take risks, go for it, keep going. You're gonna fail. It's all right. Learn from the failure. Don't get too bitter. That's like almost every one of our. So a lot of the times when we will cover a company, we'll talk about the beginning or like the the founders, and it's usually like their third or fourth yes. company. Yeah, yes, it's, totally. yeah, it's usually like a huge failure. They hit rock bottom and then they become Elon right. Musk. You know? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. People forget the failures. You know, he, uh, you Be- don't talk Bezos, about it yeah, he tried to sell books only, you know, and yeah. it just grew in Amazon. You just keep going. <laughs> it's so funny that it used to be this, like, cute, like, let's get more books out to people. And now it's, like, literally the most evil company in the it's entire world the that I love, by the way. And I <laughs> yeah, order things yeah. from them. He's constantly. literally trying to fuck space with his, <laughs> yeah. his problem. <laughs> we got to keep an eye on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm really, he's going through a midlife crisis and he has too much money oh, to do that yeah. without anyone just. Yeah. Eyeballs. Yes, totally. His new girlfriend is everything. Oh, is I'm she? obsessed with her. She is so like, she, you know, she maybe she's a lovely girl, but she just seems very plastic. Yes, mm, there we go. I was gonna say trashy, but that felt a little mean. Yeah, trashy. But I'll she say. is. She is trashy. <laughs> interesting. And then Mackenzie is giving away her money just like suspiciously fast right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, really, what do you know, Mackenzie? Mm. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, she's giving away she, a shitload of money. She's giving almost mm. all of it away. Mm-hmm. What? Like, yeah. like she's really cool. Yeah, she is. Or she knows something we don't know, and the whole world's gonna end. In yeah, five minutes. Melinda Gates was giving away a lot, and then boom, Epstein plane. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. This is gonna become a conspiracy podcast. I know. Did I tell you? I don't know if I talked about this on the pod before, but when I was in Seattle, this guy uh, was talking to me and my friends, and he turned out to be the chef for Bill and Melinda Gates. Mm. Oh. And so I asked him. I was like, "Which who Any won allergies? you?" Allergies. In- <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but I was like, "Who won you in the in the divorce?" Oh. And um, he was like, <laughs> "Another." Is- yeah slavery kind of right animal. right and he was like well they're in a bidding war for who gets me in the Whoa. divorce uh and he was like but one okay of, special yeah and he goes one of their houses i really like and, and my son likes to go out there and spend time with me at this one house so whoever gets that house i want to be with them Jesus i was like Christ. this is insane i was like first of all this is insane secondly i really don't think bill and melinda gates would appreciate you going around town spilling a bunch of dirt about them yeah well, but if, if they tune in Bill, <laughs> he didn't say hello. anything bad he didn't say anything bad but i was like it's just weird that you're going around like bragging about working for them in general i would brag yeah I'm kidding i would tell everyone that yeah yeah i guess you're right well <laughs> <laughs> but i mean it is weird you're right but i would do it i understand yeah. where he's coming from is what i'm trying to say yeah yeah for sure um all right so let's talk about this guy alex masmedge sure let's hear it cool so speaking of people that are very entrepreneurial and make you know, yeah. things out of nothing. This guy is a 20 year old and he's from France. Okay. Um, and he was doing a human token sale on Ethereum. Oh, way off with the token. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking for some reason, I was thinking true crime. Oh yeah. No. Which is, that's crime. on me. Yeah. I was just thinking murder stuff. Oh yeah, like no. Off his ear and selling right. Yeah. Right. So what's a personal token, a personal token, um, which his personal token is money sign Alex is it's like a Bitcoin basically, I think, but it's like a stock, but centered around a person or a community instead of a company. So people are like investing in Alex. It's, it's a, it's a meme or like a, yeah, it's a coin. Like yeah. a, like Doge. Crypto. Right. Exactly. Well, I want to make one. Yeah, we should. We should. For the, mm, I want to do a comedy should. one for the podcast. Oh, yeah. yeah, that'd be fun. Hey, bits, Bitcoin, bits, bits, mm. bits for Bitcoin. We're bits. doing wow. bits, hits for bits. Hey. Like we can buy a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> so the stock's value can come from future equity, revenue, work, product, or services. So it can be used for freelancers, where like one token equals one hour of their time um, for fundraising. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, so like. He now has done this against his future income, which I think is really scary. If it's like, oh, if you whoa, own something, whoa, 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 then yeah. you can have a percentage of my future income. That's insane. Okay, so hold on. That's what's going on right now? I'm about to go buy some fucking Alex coins. Let me I tell you so. that. I don't know what this guy's up to, but... Yeah, isn't <laughs> He's that He's 20 currently? Yeah. I'm and pretty sure. 
Yeah, I know. that's fair. I know no information on this guy. I'm learning about this alongside you guys. No, that's fine. That's I had a busy weekend, okay? Yeah. <laughs> grandma died. My grandma died. Okay, Aww. get off my back. <laughs> Literally, no one's ever yelling at me. She's like, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, you guys, were, yeah, go off in the comments, fucking assholes. And they're like, stop yelling at the no listeners. That you have. <laughs> um, okay, so personal tokens have potential because early stage investors always bet on people over companies. I guess that's true. I don't know. Leveraging crypto technology enables for cheap, fast and global internet powered markets that could unlock new talent and could fundraise for to find clients and oh wait. Fundraise or find clients before? What? Um how's that work? (laughs) So basically the concept is if I made a Laura coin and then you bought one, Mm -hmm. and then I guess there was an agreed upon value to that. So they have to set what that equals. Yeah, yeah. Then I would have to give you an hour of my time at some point in the future. Oh. Yeah. So you're just basically like signing a contract, but we're not really but mm. ahead. Yep. And so you can issue a cert. But that's weird then because someone else could buy it. And then are you still having to give them another hour? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like you only have a, like a, it's not infinite amount of time. But what do you mean an hour? What am I, I'm giving you an hour of what, work? Yeah, I'm yeah. assuming oh. work or hang out, like whatever I guess the so person wants to do. Prostitution, Yeah, basically. Well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> huh. It doesn't have to be sex, but it, oh, yeah, okay. it could be just like coding or something like ah, that. Whoops. <laughs> Mark's like, only sex. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, no, 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 no sex. <laughs> Oh, so 20 year old French guy probably has some skills beyond yeah, that. Yeah, sure. Um, one of the, so the first person who publicly traded himself <laughs> mm. is this guy named Mike Merrill, who did this in back in 2008. And he had <laughs> questions like you could, you could buy like tokens basically that would then give or- you votes to, answer questions like should he marry his girlfriend and you can vote so you have like a little board of directors oh my yeah. god yeah no so yeah it's like no choose, no 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 choose no. your own adventure for this guy yes oh that's fun so Isn't this guy crazy? has a bunch of people who give him money and they get to make decisions for him I would love to be on one of those boards. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's a TV show. That just is. I mean, dictating so- what this guy does. I know. It's so interesting. You just so, send like the shareholder updates. Yeah. yeah. So now, um, basically, Alex is doing a similar thing to that Mike Merrill guy and making his own coin. Um, and there's like a certain amount of value to one dollar sign Alex coin. So one one of those means one vote. And then the more that you hold the more invested you are into his success or whatever choice you're trying to make for him. So you like, if you, if you pay oh more God. Alex coins and you get a heavier say into yeah. whether or not he marries uh, his girlfriend, which is pretty crazy. Also, how about the girlfriend just being like, bitch, what? Yeah. yeah. She's like, what if I want to marry you. Right. Or, or she's like, like paying them off. Like, please tell yeah. him to ask yeah. me. <laughs> Come on. That's me. That would be what I would be doing. <laughs> Do you have lobbyists? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're so, out of money for the wedding. <laughs> so uh, th- he did this back in July to figure out which daily habit that he wanted to go with <laughs> out of jogging five kilometers, stop eating red meat, wake up at 6 a.m., survive only on Bitcoin. Do you get to watch? What am I getting out of this? Like this guy is waking up at 6 a.m. Do I get to see this? Yeah, why do I care? Yeah, I, I want to be don't like, care at all. all right, here's some money. But Go storm the Capitol. Yeah. <laughs> right, <yeah. laughs> we'll make it interesting at least. Yeah, 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 like these are four lame options. Yeah, exactly. Like, really ramp Yeah, these it up. options are, and I actually looked it up because I was like, these can't be the only options. He's got to be doing funnier stuff than this, and these are the only options. So I was like, boo. Yeah, I'm paying for your life to, you know, be more responsible. You yeah, wake up exactly. early, you don't eat meat, like... Come on. I should be doing that with myself. Right, right. (laughs) It would be better if he had things like I have to either eat a cockroach every day and and film it or eat one rat a year or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. But now with like NFTs, with NFTs and shit, I feel like I don't know what I'm buying anyway. Exactly. Exactly. And I looked on this guy's website. A lot of this is taken directly from his website, but it's so funny because he's like explaining He's explaining how to invest in him, but then he explains nothing about himself or why people should be or Mm -hmm. it's so bizarre. It's like nebulous. Yeah. I mean, Mm -hmm. I guess it's like the concept of currency is always pretty like, you know, it's like, why, why do you need, why does a dollar mean anything? And it's because the U S government has a big army. 
<laughs> that's why. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's the reality of it. But like Bitcoin, if we all decide it has value, then it does. Or it, right. Exactly. You know, right. In the last week, for whatever reason, it doesn't anymore. <laughs> Yeah, it did you see it went no. down a shit? I know. Is it because it dropped. halved or whatever the fuck? I don't. I don't know. I should check. Yeah. Oh, that's a great point. We had this girl on who um, is extremely into the crypto world and runs uh, part she of was the department awesome. for PayPal. Yeah. So she like is in the crypto uh, division there, and she was explaining to us how when there's halving on the the Bitcoin mining which happens every couple years or something like that, mm-hmm. then the the value gets all funky. So we should check and see if that's what's going on. I also, bet that is. Probably, and I should buy. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that means. Yeah. This went down a lot. Jack loves Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Love him. <laughs> yeah, that girl was so much fun. She, we were talking about Bitcoin, and like she would just like went into the like libertarian rants. I was like, Whoa. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're all libertarians. Whoa. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's no government control on Bitcoin. Exactly. Uh-huh. And that was her whole thing. And she's like, this is better than what we've had going on because we can do whatever we want so is she, is she loaded because if you know that much you she have paid in it. oh wow partially paid in it but yeah you do damn rent in like real, right real, right good. can you pay rent in bitcoin depends on can if you they accept it or not some places take it yeah absolutely strippers hate it <laughs> <laughs> stop throwing usbs at me yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, the stripper comes off. She's just bruised. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, this is ridiculous. She's plugging them in to see how much she got. And yeah, she's got yeah. Another virus. <laughs> what would be like if you had to put out a mark coin? Mm. What would be like things that you would want people to vote on? Oh, yeah. Try this joke tonight. Oh, that's Or good. play this town or something like that would be fun. You could do something fun. where You should you, totally do that. You do like mm. a crowdsourced joke. Yeah. You know. Well, on my podcast, we do bits. We work bits out. Mm -hmm. And so people are always like, I saw you do it on the pod, and then I saw it at this club. It was so cool. So they like that progression. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that is interesting. Mm -hmm. It is interesting. Yeah. But then when it bombs, they're like, I knew that was going to bomb on the pod. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. Yeah. (laughs) So, yeah. No, we should definitely... This is... Okay, this is me committing to creating Comedy Coin, because I think it'll be funny. Yeah. And it also cannot be that hard. No, it can't be that hard. I'll do it. Is it expensive, or can you just like randomly make one? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay. (laughs) Just throw a couple hundred bucks at this. Who can? I should do it before we go to South by. Yeah, we should. We're going to South by Southwest. So if you live in the Austin area, come say hi. Yes. If you want to be on the podcast, we'll be doing some on the street stuff. So. Ooh, it streams on Silkwood. Yeah. (laughs) Was it Silkwood? Silk Silk Road. Road. Oh shit! I fucked it up. Yeah. Silkwood. I don't know. Is um, that some porn think, site? Like, what's up? No, it's like a shower. Like, oh, I, it was so gross. I need a silkwood shower. They always say that. I have no idea. Oh, I've never okay. heard of that before. No, no, All right. Maybe it's a Louisiana thing. Some New Orleans. Thing? Yeah. Nah, <laughs> some <laughs> some Nolans. Oh, maybe. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for uh, coming on. Uh, hey, thanks for having me, Tits. Yeah. Did I cut you off? Were you going to say no, something No, my final question I wanted to ask, Mark, do you own any coins? I have a couple bucks in the the crypto, what is it called, Coinbase. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm all over Coinbase, but it's through the floor right now. Yeah, it's not good. So I just I just listen to my friends who all do it, and they're like, buy this one. So I'll put like $1,000 in yeah. it and yeah, just wait. Yeah. And I went way up, I've gone way down, I've gone way up, and now I'm way back down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yep. I don't know anything about it. I don't understand it, but I just listen. No, it's pretty. You're pretty much caught up now. It's there's not a ton to understand. No, it's really strange. Just oh, it's like even like the NFTs. You like you and I did a whole podcast on them, and then somebody asked me like a week later, like what's an <laughs> NFT? I was like, oh. I don't know. Yeah. But there is the uh, NFT gallery, which yeah. is really cool that I'm mm. trying to do a show at. So yeah. Oh really? Mark. Yeah, isn't that interesting? So yeah. they basically just light them up. They're um, beautiful. What are they? What is like they're, them? They're up? art. So oh, there are the concept for the. I think the most like a- applicable concept is digital art with an NFT will allow people to um, sell that art and like you know it'd be like having an original Picasso ah. or something along those lines where obviously you can reprint the Picasso and yes. you know, that's fine. But like having the original is different. Got it. So it's kind of, that's like the, the best application of it that it makes sense to me. NFTing all this other stuff. Like I'm like, like, like a tweet or a something. tweet and stuff yeah. like that. I'm like, I don't really get that. I don't get it either. The art. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Cause the artist made this and this was their, you know, original creation, which you are so like, the artist, your yeah. fan, it all comes together. So, like, you could make something on, like, 
uh, Photoshop or whatever. Yeah, and like there's so many ways to digitally create art now, yeah, and there's mm -hmm. not a ton of ways to really like sell, like yeah, you know what I mean? That like, makes sense. Because mm -hmm. you can just share everything now. Right. So exactly. Yeah. And I mean, you can still do that, but it's like you know, you could also reprint, as I mentioned, the Picasso. Or something yeah, like yeah. That. And it's, it's different than having the first one. Right. Yeah. So that's the concept with art. And then the other thing that I think is going to be really boring is I think they're going to do leases and stuff like that, or like oh. titles mm -hmm. on your car with mm -hmm. the NFTs. Mm -hmm. I'm like almost oh, positive. That makes sense. But yeah, because yeah. it's like you have the blockchain and you can see the transfers right, and stuff right, like right. that. And you're like, why do I have to have this like random piece of paper? Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird. No, for sure. So. Yeah. Memorabilia I get. That's so much easier to understand because A, it's tangible and they'll be like, Bob Saget died, so now this is worth more. I'm right. Like, oh, okay, that I get. Right. right. But this, this stuff is beyond me. NFT. Well, you break the world. I sold some, yeah. I, I don't get it. I got the check and I was like, thanks. But that's what I love about you. You're like, I don't get this at all. I'm gonna assign some guy to do this for me and then I'm gonna make some money off of something that I have no idea how to even explain to people. Yeah, no idea. I'm cleaning up in sex trafficking right now. <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for coming on, babe. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, thanks for having me. This is fun. I uh, it flew by. I learned a lot. There you go. That's what we tried. All there right. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.